Okay, fine. Here we are back again. It's so good to see you all again. And um, we really are just so interested now. We have to hear from Kim, who's also been very busy this year. Kim? Yeah, I have. I have. I've been very busy. Um, but a couple, a, a couple of, of uh, item, insights, I guess, for me. One is, is that um, I, I spend a lot of time in the studio looking and thinking. And this is, uh, it, it, this, is this is different if I think of, you know, really many, many years ago. So that's, that's the first thing that's happened for me. And, and, and uh, um, the other thing is that I've, I've come finally to be able to put something uh, visually together that ha that satisfies an urge that I had and I that now goes back 40 or 50 years ago. And uh, I, I've shocked myself that that I saw it on the wall. And this has to do with the combination of my steel work and, and the paintings. And 50 years ago, uh, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, I can remember thinking, I want to take a person and put them between two paintings. And here I am now making things that kind of look like people in steel and putting two paintings, uh, two paintings around it. So that, that's been, it, it's, that's been a really wonderful, a wonderful thing. The other thing is this work that we've done with the book has brought to mind um, a real strong desire to have a, uh, to create a survey book of my own work. And this is a direct a relation uh, in, in, a result of the work that, that we're doing as a group. And um, so I don't know when, I don't know when I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, but, I, but this is something I really do wanna do. And then finally, I have spent a lot of time, a lot of time <laughs> submitting to commercial galleries. And um, I have one success. I have picked up a gallery in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bravo. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And I continue to submit. I, I, actually, I work with a consultant. And I'm happy to tell anybody whatever you would want to know about it. And he's given us just a, a, a method for moving forward to, to making submissions. I now do it in a very, um, uh, without a very rote manner. And so it's, it's, it's just not complex at all. And it takes very little energy now, finally. Um, so that, that's, that's been my year. That's been my year. Well, the other thing, Kim, I forgot to mention that you and I and two other artists have spent a great deal of time putting together a proposal for an exhibition of the four of us. And that also kind of feeds into this notion, you know, collating your work and thinking about it and uh, which we've done because we've made a proposal that is in the form of a book. So I, I didn't exactly. get a chance to mention that and Kim, has been very much a part of that. So yes, absolutely. About to send it out. <laughs> yes. I also like to thank him because it's yeah. not just you know Jan, myself, and Carol working on this. Uh, Kim has been fundamental in helping us finance these things and taking all the checks and and being the treasurer for this project. And I, I'm really grateful to everything you've done and how you've kept track of of all the little details. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And it's uh, mutual for all the work that um, really. that has been put in to create this book. It's just incredible. <laughs> thank really, you. Really, thank you. Thank you, Kim. And I mean, in a way, Kim has been our registrar because it's not just like taking the checks, going to the post box and getting the checks and depositing them. She's kept records of, you know, all the payments because unless they come in, we can't do anything. So um, it's, it's a lot of record keeping. Everyone here has, um, you know, has a lot of skill and experience in all of these matters. And what I'd like to say, and this, is, this points to what Kim has just said, that 
it's easy to do things in parallel so that if you're doing it for this book or the next book or for mm -hmm. the group, yes, you're doing it for your own work as well. And That's you right. just can um, handle all of these things simultaneously. And I think that's what Kim was also saying with um, submissions, that if you can create a submission that can be sent to multiple places, it that's not right. only saves you the energy of repetition, but it also preserves your emotional state. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. there's a huge emotional element to, oh, I've done this. Nothing has come of it. How can I get myself to do it again? And right. that's very different if you put it together and you don't have that emotional um, cost each time. Mm -hmm. Very well said. So, so I think that's really great. And um, I, I don't see Jeannie yet, but I'd like to talk a little bit. I know we've just, we've just like, we're so excited about this. And I have to tell you, so excited. You know, we got them on Sunday. Well, we've already got in the mail all of our contributions to the libraries. So I already wow. sent little notes Thank you, Jan. and sent them out. Thank, well, thank you. you, Jan. And what I will do is I will revise the list of the um, recipients so that if anyone wants to take one of theirs and send it to an institution that's important to them, personal, then they can send another copy themselves and let me know and I'll add it to our list. Right. One of the things, hi Jeannie, we're hi. Going back. we've been waiting for you, but I just want to finish <laughs> one thing. One of the things about the reality of this project is that when we did our first book, and I'm sure you noticed, it was thicker. We were 29 artists. Right. We lost three, which was really sad. And we had three who declined to participate in this book. So it's really important because, um, you know, we have a certain number of libraries where we can, um, that we can support this way. But I think with volume, with the volume for the 80s, I'm going to make a recommendation that in addition to this, we create a flyer. And for very little postage, we can send the flyer announcing all three volumes that we'll have and send it out massively so that institutions know about this and want to bring them into their libraries. Great idea. So that's, that's what I think we should be doing. I have to say that postage is very expensive. So if you ever think that going to Lulu or Blurb and paying six or seven dollars to have a book delivered to you, it's not that much now because the postage on one of these, if you send it first class, is five and a half dollars now. And wow. Wow. And a padded envelope, bubble wrap envelope is a dollar and the labels and, you know, and, and the tape and the this and the that. So really um, it, it's, it makes sense that we're using print on demand and that we're encouraging other people to use it as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was able to do the library rate on this. But unless you have 200 pieces, you can't do bulk. And it's really a lot. So um, that's just one thing to keep in mind. And now I'm so excited. I want to hear what she needs for that too. This year. <laughs> I want to mention something. You can oh, yeah. mail it media. I did. Mail. I did. And it's three and a half dollars. Yeah. yeah. But you don't have to have any. There's I, no minimum on I, that. I, I understand. I'm just saying that that. I was just talking about the idea of like what the, what the value is for certain for someone in their thinking, you know, that they might think, oh, because I know I you can fault me. I've had this thought that if I order something from Blurb or Lulu and I'm getting one or two copies because somebody wants them and I'm thinking what a lot of money they're charging, you know, six ninety five to send it. But actually, it's not, you know, they've got their cardboard thing and they're mailing it and they've got labor, yeah. they're mailing it. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Good. So me, <laughs> you. Let's see this. Uh, first, I want to say the book. I got. I was really tickled by the book because there was something about all of us being around our twenties, somewhere in our. And you are. We have a few younger guys who are still in high school, probably. But what really, it was um, very touching because we were so enthusiastic. I think the politics of the day backed us up to just go for it, whether there's support or not, and make it happen. You know. That all helped so much. Yeah. As Lulu knows, we were both in Fresno. I mean, we saw that stuff, the movement happen, but it was really 
touching to see it because we're blind optimists. <laughs> if you really read the statistics about the art world, we were real optimists. <laughs> anyway, I, I really, um, I just got a kick. I thought we're all very brave. Anyway, this year, hard because of COVID, hard because John's had some health issues and I'm doing a lot more caretaking and that's a new thing. I mean, he still goes to the studio. He's still John, but he's slower. One car now, not two changes. He's in a lot of back pain. It's very hard to be with somebody in the house all the time who's really suffering. So that's hard. The other part is, I don't know, I had, uh, maybe because of that, you know how this stuff works sometimes? I had tremendous energy and put on a show. I was really happy with the transmission. And I don't know if any of you saw it, sort of keep pushing that 3D out, out, out as far as I can. That just fascinates me. So that was really fun. I actually did a whole film on an artist, Judy Fusainer, that was sort of a lark and it actually turned out pretty funny. It was good. And that was interesting to try, you know, that was just a cell phone film and we should do that for each other. You know, it's a lot of, it's very interesting and you can make it fun. She carries things along because she's a good storyteller. So sometimes it's not so easy because I tried helping somebody with another artist who's not very talkative. So it's like, it depends a little bit, but it's really a good tool. And I have not learned how to do it on Instagram, but it's sort of interesting. Like, how do you do these reels and all this stuff? So that's fun. And then the other thing is just like the page in the 70s book, the other part is portraiture, which I bring out from, and I just printed an entire catalog of same-sex marriages from 2004, because when that happened at City Hall, I just said, this is history. And I ran over and photographed everyone waiting in line to get married. And it was, I wrote in the book, I'll make, I'm making a book, uh, a bit of a book with Carol, who's the designer from Fantastic. So what, um, what was great was, I didn't have to prod anybody. They were the happy, and the joy on the faces of the couples was amazing. So I'm just glad because I just I just witnessed it, you know, and recorded. So that's a fun series. I'll send maybe if you want, I'll send you a link. I'll put a link up for you. Uh -huh. Anyway, that was fun. So it was like both sides of my work. I got to and and the transmission was really interesting because I had utter focus. And I think I remember a little bit about that. Those of you who had kids. When you got to finally get to your studio, boy, did you focus or else you're wasting your time. You didn't have that much time, right? When you had a little kid. So I, I found that it was very satisfying. So I've had a really, I think a really good work year, but a hard year. And I'm batty with COVID like all of us, you know. I mean, you keep thinking it's over and then it's not. Yeah. So that was a sort of it and that, yeah, just adding film was fun. And I'm interested in carrying that further. Yeah. yeah. Um, Priscilla, hi. Would you hi like there. to like let people know a little bit about how your year has been? Uh, the year, the whole year? Well, it's, something from the year. It's a blur. <laughs> it's a total blur. Oh. Um, <laughs> but a couple of um, interesting things have uh, come out of it. One is... <laughs> extra book maybe sass told you about it um this can you see this yes it's called fun fun book published by the jen tuff gallery in um uh, santa fe new mexico and she selected a bunch of artists to be in it and that's that's the piece that i have in it right there congratulations yeah, yeah. thank you so that was that was a big thing that just has just arrived. Um, other than that, it's been it's been mostly home stuff, not so much studio. Um, my next door neighbors removed a gigantic uh, tree next to my property that was on the street. Huge, beautiful, um, but um, now my yard is. <laughs> destitute of that beauty, but it doesn't have uh, pine needles dripping in it all the time. So that you have more light in your house? Yeah, uh, no, um, yes, I do. I yeah. do. I do. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, and I haven't gotten used to that yet. So looking forward to the 80s book, yeah. my first request is that everyone send me an email with your suggestion of a writer for the book to contact. Mm. And um, you can give me like three names in order of your preference, because I'm going to use this like voting in terms of the order of contacting the writers. So um, if you send the emails and CC everyone, so everyone knows what's coming up, but even if you've seen the name of someone that you like, send it to me also, because as I said, I'm going to take that in and weighing it in terms of where to go first with, um, with contact. So that's the first thing. The other thing is I know you all have already started during this long period to write your 80s statement and to find your images yeah. and your photographs. Yeah. So you will be it's getting epic. out with me with a deadline. <clears throat> so that is going to be coming your way, a, a group email to everyone um, focusing on the 80s. And we can work on this um, long before we have um, an essay in hand from a writer. The other thing is something that is new that I want to talk to you about. And it comes out of just what I was saying earlier. If there's a good idea, one should pick it up and run with it. And I encountered what I thought was a very good idea about a year ago. I found the artist documentation program, which actually was started and funded by the Daniel Foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you, some of you might have, have seen some of these videos. They started in 1990. They brought artists either into um, their space or they met in the studios and they looked at work that was in the collection and talked about the work with the artist and the conservator about the materials, what they used, what they were, their process, how things were applied, what materials um, have survived or need repair, what should kind, what should be done, what what the artist felt was needed or not needed. Anyway, these considered documentaries are absolutely fantastic, and so I um, thought that this would be a really valuable thing to add as a video page links to videos that talk about maybe two or three pieces of work. A lot of you work and have worked in different materials, different um, media completely over the years. And going back to what you were using, process, what you changed in your work, things that would be helpful. And I think the real advantage is not only for the preservation of your work in the future when you're not here to let anyone know what you used or what was actually going on there, but it also is a, going to be a good resource for anyone in the future looking at work from that particular period to think, oh, in the 70s, you know, these inks were fugitive. Oh, in the 80s or 90s, these things were developed. Mm -hmm. These paints were changed. These mediums that became available. Oh, here's Tyvek, here's Yupo. Here's like 30 years difference in terms of time. So I think what we will put together will be something that will be so valuable, not just for our own work in the future, but for the work of other artists, for, for acquisitions. And I think it'll bring a lot of people to um, the website as a resource. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to do and to prove that it's very easy to do. <clears throat> I just made mine. <laughs> oh. So I did mine and um, it, it does not reach an hour. The Dominial, Dominial um, videos are each an hour. Um, I didn't want to be a solo talking head. So I actually twisted the arm of one of my sons who has never done anything with me in the studio or talked about work before, but he held the iPhone. He um, had a couple of questions, which I think is much more lively 
So again, you could set this up just the way we did the artist interviews with Zoom with each other if you want, or if you have somebody that comes into your space or is close to you, this is a great opportunity to help establish just what we were talking about in terms of having someone who can carry on and who understands to bridge from when you can no longer speak about your work yourself to when there's somebody that hopefully will have interest in the work who's had no direct connection to you. So I highly recommend having someone um, with you. You can also do it alone by yourself. But that is the next thing that I'm proposing. I think it's really going to be valuable for the future of everyone's work. And Your is the format, there. is there a suggested format that we can look up online through Jim and Neil? So, so you can, it's called the Artist Documentation Program. You can watch theirs. And I uploaded mine that I just did and I uploaded it to my YouTube channel. Um, and so if you just do one word, Jan Worm, on YouTube, search, you'll come to my channel. And it's the, the two, it's in two sections. Um, so what you can just take a look at them. Mm -hmm. what is okay. it the artist documentation, documentation document project. 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 Yeah, it's. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's fantastic because I ended up watching everyone I love. There's Jasper Johns, there's uh, oh. <laughs> there there's Terry Winters, who I really like. There's um, uh, <laughs> Frank Stella's fantastic. You know, he's really great in it. And, and so there, I mean, there's so many that they've done and they're really wonderful. But um, it, it doesn't have to, I mean, it's not gonna be that formal. You're not, you know, in a museum storage area. You're, you know, <laughs> you're in your studio with your work, but to make a selection of work, you know, I, I think it's really easy. I think, oh my gosh, painting, how boring. I just paint on canvas. I've been doing it for 50 years. What's the, the deal? <laughs> All of a sudden I start thinking and afterwards more came to me. I thought, oh my goodness, there was a period of five, six, seven, was it eight years? I was actually using rabbit skin glue. I mean, someone should know that, right? But I don't think about it anymore. It wasn't like in my earliest work, it wasn't my latest work. So I think that this is a good start and you can always do another video. You can always amend things. You can, if you, you know, if we were all Liz share, we could like really cut and splice and make a wonderful production. But in the meantime, we have a document and it's very easy to do. I think that's mm -hmm. the, the beauty of this digital technology that we have at our hands and it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. All right. Are they on YouTube? It, like Jan, the, the Dame Manil project? Is that to be found just Googling it? So, so if you Google it, you will find it. it's, 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 it's linked to their website. So from their oh, website, okay. you can link to it. Um, <laughs> but it, it's, I, I don't remember whether it was on YouTube or on um, site. some, some other platform. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I, I don't remember. I, I haven't looked at this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. I think Elizabeth's jumping off now. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Bye, everybody. It's really nice to see you. And, Hi. and thank you. It's, Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you it's so much. It's been wonderful. Much. Can't wait to work on the next. Oh, I, I'm wearing the same color, but that's yes. an accident. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. I got to go to Goodbye. Bye. 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 So, um, does anybody have any questions that came up that that they had that they'd like to address for the next book or okay. um, oh, I, I see two hands I think Curtis was first and then Kim yeah what's the deadline for the 80 yep. you'll get you'll get it in the email I'm going to send you an email and you'll have it hard copy mm. I have it on my calendar but I don't have my calendar right here sorry so it'll it'll be It'll be after Valentine's Day, but before taxes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's close Good. for the whole video. Uh, so I, 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 I think that um, that we're you know we're pretty good with this now, and you've gotten to the point where you you know where your older images are and your older photographs. And as you're going along, when you're looking for photographs of the '80s, you put the ones for the '90s right next to it, okay. so you're ready for Ooh. the oh. you're ready to go. That's the whole point of, of it's, you know, the reason that this book is such that I'm going to say, okay, we can just go with the next one is, you know, all the labor that went into the formatting and the designing, it's there. Now right. we can take advantage of it. It's kind of like, I mean, I don't want to say it's a freebie because Carol's here. You, I know how much work it is to do each one. Oh. It's not that there isn't, isn't a lot of work, but there's a lot that we can draw upon that's already in the bank for us. Yeah. And yeah. by putting aside the photographs from, you know, the nineties, along with looking for the eighties, you've got two books done with the same effort. I think the best thing about the seventies, this book is that we all merge. There's so many connections because it's one period of time. And it was such a vital, you know, we were all growing up and rebelling. And I mean, it was, we were just so <laughs> engaged in, in learning. And it's that point at which we were just finding ourselves. And I, I just th I think it's really interesting how, how, how common our experiences were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's much more, I think it's much more interesting than the first, the first book, which was kind of all over the place. We didn't have a focus as much. I, well, I, I agree. Also, I think Maria's uh, writing, she was so specific. Oh, so bad. She made the history, but she specifically, you know, linked names to activities right. that were actually part of the history. So she wrote us right in. Yeah, I th that was beautiful. It was, he was really good. Yeah. What a difference. Kim, Kim, yeah. I, yeah, I have a suggestion. I agree with uh, the idea that, that her writing was just top notch, just yeah. top notch. And I I'm one thought that has come to me is that maybe we don't want to lose, lo lose her completely. And maybe between now and the time we get to the end of the, you know, the 2010s, whatever we decide to stop, we might ask her if that we might tell her, we might ask her to do another one and let her pick her decade. Mm -hmm. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, that, that is wonderful. I also think that we have um, a deeper, wider, more meaningful world when we have more writers writing about us. Right and about the work. And I, I, I think Maria is fabulous. I mean, I totally love her. And, and yes, I'd love to have her do everything, but I also think we gain a lot by having different writers and different voices coming into the mix. And the point that we had with, with 2020, you know, I, I, I hope we all live really, we've lived long lives. I hope we li live even longer lives and stay active. And, um, and that brings it up issues of endowment. And I, I've brought this up in the past about <laughs> establishing a little account, a fund, where we can calculate and pay in as we go along money to maintain our website, mm -hmm. yeah, to keep it idea. fresh so that we don't lose our domain and our, our site. So mm -hmm. it's, it's housed, we know what those costs are. And so that we can see these projects through and not that we necessarily have to like prepay for each of these projects at this point in time, but that we have this and that we can, you know, put some things together and, and think about this financially, you know, and talk, mm -hmm. about, talk about those who will be taking care of our things when we're not here, so they know what we're doing and what value it has yes. and have connections so that emails are, are exchanged and people know how to proceed. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Hey. Good idea. Yeah. Right.
Well, it, it was shocking, you know, with the first book, because we were up against it right away. We learned that lesson very early that families are grieving right afterwards. This is not going to be the first thing that anyone is going to think about. Um, right. And they don't even necessarily think about the upkeep on the individual artist's website. I mean, right. mm -hmm. Mari's website went out, right? There it was. Really? Wow. Yeah, initially. Yeah. And, yeah. and these are, these are the, the things that we have to think about. It's easy to not even think about sharing passwords. Yeah. You know, you know we're, we're talking about having um, will, trust, all these things. You need, a, you need some record of all your passwords to be able to have and know so that someone knows where they are. Because in addition to how far you get in your, your cataloging of all your work and your inventory, your computer is one of your greatest resources right. to be backed up. And you should have, I mean, I have, um, I have it backed up on a hard drive down in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. you know, hard drive. I have um, flash drives just with lots of images and some videos that I gave to a friend in New York has one. She's just keeping it. Another friend down South has one in different locations. It's really simple. It's so that not everything is lost. If you've got a fire, a flood, you die oh, and right. nobody can access your computer, any number of things, earthquake. What, I mean, what are we thinking about here? You know, it's yeah. very yeah. easy. That's very smart. One person we lost is Susan Landauer. Oh yeah. Yes. She would have written, she would have done a fabulous uh, essay. She was so good at research. We were gonna write a book. She, she wanted to do a book on me. We were already starting to collect materials. Yeah. Such, such, a, such a shock. She and Hung, I think, mm -hmm. a daily. I um, think of them. Yes. Yes. So a lot of people this year. Many. Yeah. Yeah. Susan was quite a champion for all the artists in the in California, the Bay Area. She was quite extraordinary. And, yeah. Right. And I feel that loss also. Yeah. Really. So, so what's, a, what's an upbeat, what's the <laughs> upbeat we can talk about before we <laughs> upbeat is everyone has oh, done have, so much work. I have, something to, I have something to say since I started and I didn't, I, I got, mine was too short. <laughs> no. I just sold last year, I just sold my first big painting. Yay. Probably the first painting I sold off of somebody else's wall for 15 years. Oh, wow. And I right. sold another one from the crooks <laughs> this summer. <Yeah>. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to teach and I can live off of them. Wow. That's fantastic. Wonderful. Wonderful. Little, uh, wonderful. Uh, it's fantastic. And we all want to know about these crooks. <laughs> oh, they're Marlboro, Marlboro people. Yeah, and they were crooks before, if you remember. Yes. Yeah, they were. With, with Rothko and everything. Rothko. Remember some of that? Right. Well, Whoa. I was kind of naive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I did, I did a bra very brave thing. They're about three days into being delivered 12 of my large paintings, my legacy on a truck to New York, I turned the truck back. <laughs> there was no paperwork. They were selling my work off before, off of my website. Oh, boy. And before I, and I hadn't even said, okay, you could, I'm used to having a show and getting everything back. I, 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 I think there are so many stories and maybe we should have a just a casual gathering, not wait a year for our next. I'm Zoom. done. I'm done. We're just, well, we're just about out of time again. Um, right. So I, I just want to say that um, I'm, I'm so glad that everyone um, pushed through on this and it's oh, great seeing wow. you all. I'm happy to hear about yeah, your work. Yeah, I hope yeah. that everyone 
stays healthy and those who've had to deal with so much health, um, so many health challenges this yeah. year will mm -hmm. heal and do well. And uh, all the best to everyone. I'm just filled with admiration for all of you and all that you've accomplished this year. And thanks um, for all you. Thank you, work. Jan. Yeah, so Jan. much for everything. <laughs> thank you, Jan. It's yeah. good. Jan, you're great. <laughs> yeah, well. we really thank you. It's about coming together. Yeah. It's right. What happens it's fun. together. Yeah, it's yeah. terrific. It's really great. It is. I don't so, do this much. Well, we'll do it again. Thank you all. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Thank Jan. you everybody. Nice to 